I love how he rolls at you. He's like, I'm coming. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Okay, so my stats are butt right now, still. We're gonna taffy, mint leaf, and vitamin C this week. We're going to try and get our stats up. The thing is that uh, because there's no saves, if I fuck up the drill... Oh my god. If I fuck up the drill, then I don't get anything. So it only raises power and skill by 3 each, which is actually kind of shitty, I'm not going to lie. To Reggie. How's it going? I've been your greatest fan since your last match. You are something else. I already have tickets to your next match. You don't even know what my next match is. You got ripped off, kid. I'm sorry. I don't know what my next match is. How does he know? I write him back and tell him to go after the scalper. I think the drugs got heavily nerfed in Monster Rancher 1. It seems like they're... Oh, MF1 is obscene. Okay, I gotcha. Because, yeah, these are... Uh... This is not great. You gain, what, 12 power and skill total over the course of a month? I like that it shows you the stats going up, though. As in Monster Rancher 2, you just kind of have to figure it out on your own actually get anything we're gonna try it rank c we got 200 power now got a decent amount of life try to get our speed back up to 200 we won't be able to in the next two weeks but you know i can do circus it'll lower my power by a little bit but it's over 200 already so that's okay oh that's how's that juggling that's that's terrifying this is one of your most played games as a kid. Somehow managed to never even know that Disc Monster exists. The only reason I knew is because my uh, cousin had a cheat that gave him all of the pages in the book. I never played Disc as a kid. This is my first time raising a Disc, ever. Okay, we're going to enter tournament. We got 204 stats, which should be enough to beat a rank C tournament. I mean, drugs kind of suck in the sense that they only raise power and skill like why implement so many different types of drugs and they all raise the same stats once we get to the point of like fully modding the game i know we're really close we need to add drugs that uh change other stats like raise power or intelligence and speed instead of power and skill you know that'd be nice or intelligence and skill even Boran. All right, Boran. Can I win this? I don't know. I don't. I'm not gonna be able to get any KOs. I don't think. What Adderall? Yeah, exactly. Yo, speed and skill, and just call it cocaine. Nice catch, Blanco Nino. <laughs> This is probably my favorite battle theme in Monster Rancher 1. The battle themes in this game are a lot more freeform than they are in Monster Rancher 2. Three in a row, Boran. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, we got the big tackle. The big boy tackle. We got the flip assault, and we got the guts lead. 20 seconds left. Let's go for the KO. We got it. I believe. Fuck. Fuck me. 10 seconds left. Come on, I only need two more hits. Holy shit, are you serious? Get out of my face. I got no guts left. 15, so close. Fuck. If I didn't miss four in a row, I could have got it. Oh my god. Boran, Gorgon, and Quarty. Do you think Gorgon was just supposed to be like G O R G O N? Probably. But now it's Oregon Trail with a G. Bring back Pink Suezo's wings. Needs them. 
300 speed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We'll get up close. Gotcha. Is that GG's? Multiple tail assaults. Oh, he got me. Just keep doing foolery. It's okay. I may not have a very good chance to hit. But I got 92 when you're doing foolery. Foolery was also much, much worse in this game. Like, doing foolery was incredibly bad. Whereas in Monster Rancher 2, it can add like 20%-ish. There's an entire chart on how much it adds based on what your uh, chance to hit already was. But it's not nearly as detrimental as in this game, which it like legit doubles it. I got 43% chance. Hey, what do I have? I still have 50 on sword, even with like a hundred deficit. In the later games, it's just you can't miss. That's true. Yeah, the timid and bullish in Monster Rancher 4 is insane. I want to do. Uh, I'm probably gonna play through Monster Rancher 4 at some point. It's not my favorite game in the world, but I think it could be fun to play it casually. Um, I was actually going to play today, but then I was like, you know what, I have to, like, go find, um, the save file with all the shit on it, and I don't want to play with a Garu for even, like, a little bit, so I may start a brand new Monster Rancher 4 game, and then just all the interesting content is after the slow main story, that's the big issue, so I think it could be fun, like, casual, but I don't know. Big Chop misses. I want to play uh, Evo as well, but that game's got like a 40 minute intro and that I'm not interested in doing. Gorgon's got like no life. Just keep running into him. I don't think I've ever actually, like, fully beat Monster Rancher 4 for the post-game stuff. Like, I've never gotten to uh, some of the post-game dungeons. So that could be fun if it's just, like, an ongoing series where I, like, play. Okay, we can get the KO here, I believe. You're, you're gonna really... You're gonna really do that to me. He got fight. Is fight just power... Or, uh, like, hurry in this game. Because I know there's not a lot of battle specials in this game, but there's, like, fight and there's, like, fury. I think fury is power. They proc much, much less often than they do in Monster Rancher 2. In Monster Rancher 2, they made it a whole thing. I'd be half tempted to speedrun Monster Rancher 4, but, oh god, the RTA looks like it's just so irritating. Yes. There's See, that's the thing. is There's a lot of these games that look interesting to me that I would want to speedrun. But if I had to be honest about it, like one, I would like to run Monster Rancher 3, but I don't have a physical copy of it, nor do I have a way to capture said physical game. So that's kind of an investment just to run a game. <laughs> Take it easy, Lexia. <laughs> think about think about your mental state. Don't do that to yourself. Um but yeah, so Monster Rancher 4, I don't know. I feel like any game that has a really long intro is not a thing I would want to speedrun because nothing to me is worse than failing a speedrun and then being like, well, okay, I got to wait to get back into it. Like I got to, like, I don't get to do anything for the first 20 minutes.